Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm David Rose. And I'm Frankie Thompson. First at five, hundreds of people in Seattle who want to get better from drug addiction now face another roadblock. A pipe burst at the Evergreen Treatment Services Clinic, leaving more than a foot of water below, behind. The building now is no longer safe. So that means 1,300 people now have to find a new place to get medicine to treat fentanyl and heroin addictions. Fox 13 News reporter A.J. Janavelle outside the clinic without the team there is trying to figure out how they can treat those people and fix the problem fast. AJ? This could be a life or death situation for someone dealing with addiction, whether they go across the street and get the medicine they need or go somewhere else to use fentanyl. When talking to officials, they tell me they have no idea how long their doors will be closed, but they're asking the community's help for them to reopen. Cold, wet, and fighting withdrawal. I came here because I was uh, addicted to fentanyl. And I'm trying to get off it. I got a, I got kids. I got a family. I'm trying to stop. Travis Carey Hamby tells me his last straw was when child services took away his kid. But instead of walking inside the Evergreen Treatment Services Thursday to get medicine for his addiction, the doors were locked. It's just a, a very big mess. On Sunday, a pipe burst at the clinic, sending gallons of water into the space hundreds relied on as refuge from addiction. The floors flooded and the ceilings crumbled. Now, the building is no longer safe. And Sean Soth with the clinic tells me his team is scrambling to figure out treatment options for their 1,300 patients. This population that's already marginalized, already struggling uh, to get the services they need, this is just one more barrier that makes it really difficult. The clinic is providing free busing to its rent location, but now treatment that used to take minutes could take an hour and a half. And for people struggling with addiction, any hurdle could be an excuse to use again. I kind of clicked on my head, like, I, should I go on the bus or should I run across the street? Huddled under a tent to stay dry and warm, with dozens of others in need of treatment, Gary Hamby says it's not an easy decision, but for him, there's only one option now. Yeah, you know, I want to be alive for my kids to grow up, and I don't have a family like I didn't have when I was growing up. It's so dangerous inside the clinic. Officials tell me crews can't even get inside to assess the damage. But when you hear Carrie Hamby's story and realize there are more than a thousand others like that, you see how dire the situation is. Now, the clinic is asking for help. You can donate to them to get their doors reopened. We have information on how to do that on fox13seattle.com. Reporting here in Seattle, Mayjay Janavel, Fox 13 News.